Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm sharing with you my Rite Aid in-store shopping haul. I did happen to come out to my local Rite Aid store today to take advantage of some different sorts of rebates and rewards. If you have not yet had an opportunity to do so, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for stopping by to take a look and see what I ended up going ahead and getting over at Rite Aid. So this week does begin on a pretty slow week. There are um, a couple few deals here and there. A lot though mainly seem to be um, focused on like rebates through different like rebate apps. In case you're unfamiliar with certain rebate apps, it's always good to download the latest, hippest, hottest savings apps to get the best bang for your buck, meaning get the most out of your dollars in return. This way you can incorporate these deals and savings into your average everyday life shopping. So some of the big ones, top ones are like Ibotta, Shopmium. There's also like swag bucks. There's also all different kinds of like rebates like Fetch. Um, there's Checkout 51 occasionally has a good thing or two. But there's all different rebate apps. Alexa that you can go ahead and take advantage of on top of regular sales and savings. So as far as today, I did go to the store knowing that I didn't realistically have to go out and I didn't have a lot of bonus cash. Like the last time I went ahead and went shopping on last Friday, um, everything was going great. So I was like, you know what? I'm just getting a vibe where I just want to spend off my bonus cash and not have to worry about whether or not I have to come back to the store because I had already saw like this week wasn't so much of a great week, but I could still make a deal happen. But I don't know what, you know, Rite Aid's future holds. I love shopping at Rite Aid. I do a lot of haul videos sharing with the items that I personally ended up picking up. So I'm just not sure what's the status from here going forward. So when I went to the store, I had approximately like 18 something in bonus cash. And I know I did want to take advantage of the Taco Bell gift cards over gift cards are also included or also like mix it up, which does include, I believe, Auntie Anne's in that um, mix up lineup of different retailers. But talk about gift cards this week at Rite Aid are buy $25, earn back $5 in bonus cash. And that's a limit of two. You can do that per Rite Aid reward member account. In my opinion, I thought that was good because it meant that I was going to spend less out of pocket for other items that I ended up choosing to purchase. So the other downside is we lost, and I officially confirmed it today, the five off $15 purchase base coupon. It is no longer active, no longer working. The one that is working is like a select five off $25 or more purchase base coupon. I was able to utilize that one a couple of times, which I was at least happy with that. But realistically, this trip today, I ended up losing out technically on about $10 in savings by not going ahead and picking up the products back on Friday. Because, you know, as well as I do, because I did a haul on Friday, that the five off $15 purchase base coupons were working. And now they're not, it's coming up expired and it even says it right on the computer system. So I still, um, I do have another family member going ahead and going out for a vaccine soon. So we'll see what happens as far as that. But with the gift cards, I was able to pick up on each of my accounts, $50 worth. I did it 25, 25. Got back $10 in bonus cash by maxing out the deal. Here's like my first one, how, how it shows on the bottom of the receipt. You see a purchase and you've been awarded. Okay. So after I got that $10 in bonus cash for the first account, I went shopping and I picked up these six items. Now at your Rite Aid, now be weary because I'm even 
even as I'm filming this, I'm getting upset, but some of these bottles leak. Okay. So anyways, these at Select Rite Aids are on clearance at 75% off. They are ringing up 75% off their regular retail price. At my store, they were priced at $12.49. So they ended up ringing up at $3.12 each. And you can go with the conditioner if you want, or you can go with the shampoo. It's the same UPC barcode for the shampoo, every shampoo that I have picked up and purchased. And the shampoo I think is like 9.6 ounces. And then the conditioner is eight ounces. So I picked up five, you can mix and match however you want, $3.12 each. And then I picked up as my filler item to get me, to push me over to 25 so I could use at least one purchase based coupon. This Vaseline Radiant X Hydrating Body Oil Replenish 1% Lipids Plus Jabobo Oil and Coconut Oil and Vitamin E. It's 3.7 ounces. And here's the UPC barcode as far as this is concerned. So my subtotal before coupons was $27.59. And I gave the cashier the $5 off, $25 or more purchase based coupon. After tax, um, it ended up being $23.95. I had to pay like over a dollar in tax. It was a little bit upsetting, but you know, it is what it is. So I paid $23.95. I earned back zero bonus cash. I did earn some points. I earned about 54, five cents, 55 cents back in points. So 55 cents back in points. I also ended up earning back four dollars for shop me um shop Mium has a four dollar rebate for the vaseline i did not have a digital load to car coupon as far as that one goes i also submitted my receipt over to ibotta ibotta has a five dollar back when you pick up a vaseline radiant x select product so i got back five dollars for that i got back five times two dollars for each of the pantene that is an ibotta rebate as well and then I went ahead and I ended up submitting my receipts to the Fetch Rebate app. And I ended up earning back 2,150 points because every receipt should give you like about 150 points for writing, limit of 10. And also the Vaseline Radiant X for me had scan one receipt that has an item, earn back 2,000 Fetch points. So that's about $2.15 in savings. Now, in addition to that, keep in mind, I did go ahead and I did pick up the Taco Bell gift cards that boosted my account to give me an extra $10 in bonus cash. And also, I have a monthly bonus cash challenge where if I spend $27, and it's for both of my accounts, actually, I can get back $7 in bonus cash extra come the beginning of March. This 15 over 15 tracking will end up giving me back approximately $3. So therefore in all of my savings after my monthly bonus cash challenge, not including the Taco Bell thing where I got that extra $10, I got back approximately $24.70 for the $23.95 that I ended up going ahead and paying out of pocket combined between, of course, the bonus cash that I used and so on and so forth. Now, my second um, card that I ended up using, and this card, it has literally, it has, um, I have a separate like Fetch app I use for it, separate Shop Me app, so on and so forth. So I did the Taco Bell gift cards to boost up my totals and I ended up earning back another $10 in bonus cash so I can use it on the transaction right away. And then I ended up picking with this one up just five of the Pantene. This is a set, so I got the, I spent the 50, I got the 10. Then I did the transaction separate where I picked up these six items, five of the hydrating glow sulfate free shampoos, the 9.6 fluid ounces. Again, same UPC barcode, but I'll share it with you one more time if I can flip it around without there's the UPC barcode, okay? And I ended up paying $3.12 for each of those, as I told you before. I ended up picking up the Vaseline Radiant X for 
And then I gave her the cashier the five off $25 purchase fees coupon. Same total again, $23.95. I ended up earning back approximately 55 cents in Rite Aid reward points for this one. I actually submit it to a different account that gives a higher amount for Ibotta on each of the sulfate-free shampoos. I ended up having an offer of $2.50 back per these, limit of five. So I got back $12.50 regarding those. I got back $5 through Ibotta for the Vaseline Radiant X. I went ahead and submitted my receipt to the shop me amount for the Vaseline Radiant X and got back $4 through that. I ended up going ahead and submitting my Rite Aid receipt to the Fetch app. I ended up getting back $2,000 on different app than different account app for Fetch than this one. So I got back 2,000 points for that, 150 points just for that. So approximately $2.15 in Fetch app points altogether. And with this bonus cash challenge under this account, this means that I will go ahead and complete my threshold because if you watched my like a slideshow video where I ended up picking up, it was under this account that I got the Pantene before. So I needed to get to 27, this bumps me actually to over 30. But that means that I will get approximately an extra $4 come the beginning of March for the monthly bonus cash challenge for completing it for Pantene. So that means all together with points and rebates and monthly bonus cash challenge money under this transaction, $28.20 back. So remember, I paid $23.95. And here, I'll try and pull it up for you. Boop, boop. With my tax, $23.95. And then I went ahead and, and after all of the rebates and submissions and things like that, I ended up getting back, as I said, $28.20 in rewards. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, for spending off pretty much all of my bonus cash besides $2.13. That's what I have left under this account. I think that's that's pretty amazing. I don't quite have a thousand points anymore on either account, but if I don't want to go ahead and shop anytime soon, technically I don't have to shop until um, figure like the 10th of February, if I wanted to go ahead and go in for, and spend off that $2.13 or that. So I have quite some time. Um, I, there is quite a few deals that like, if you have to go to the store and have to spend bonus cash, there's some good ones that I saw. I wrote them all down. Like I saw the talk about gift cards. I thought that was a good one. Um, there's the hers skincare. It's buy one, get one 50% off buy two earn. $5 in bonus cash, limited two. I saw that Muscles, uh, Muscle Tech, Six Star, Hydrocut, or Purely Inspired, $3 off regular retail, plus um, buy one, get $5 in bonus cash, limited four. I'm assuming it's a monthly deal. I saw the Clorox, Tylex, and Pine Sol, uh get $2 in bonus cash when you buy one, limited two. That includes like the wipes too, the Clorox wipes, which is nice. The Bounty 4 Double or 6 Essential is $8.99. There's a $4 Ibotta rebate. I don't know if you have any loads of card coupons still, but pretty nice as far as the Bounty Paper Towels. Select Colgate Toothpaste, Toothbrushes, or Mouthwash are $3.99 minus $2 off loads of card coupons if you need to get a filler item. The Harry's Flamingos are buy two, earn back $5 in bonus cash with a limit of two. Uh, they do have a Duracell battery deal, but I think it's going to be better towards possibly the end of the month. But I have enough batteries to last me probably the rest of my life. I'm assuming everyone who shops at Rite Aid knows exactly what I'm talking about. They have the five-hour energies, four for $10. And then we still have the select Rite Aid brand cold and flu. We have like that coupon where if you earn, you earn $5 in bonus cash when you buy $25 plus, plus that five off, um, at five off 25 one that I was talking about. The five off 15 doesn't work anymore, but there's, there's a couple like here's and there's, there's also, um, through Ibotta, we still have Biovanta, uh, rebates and Biovanta at like the one rated where like I got the last of the last of this Pantene stuff, including like that leaking out all over my whole shelf um, product. Um, they are on clearance for like $4.47 at my store. And I think when you buy one, you can get back like $3 in Ibotta money. So there's a couple different uh, options for you to choose this week. 
but I did want to share with you what I did and why I did it. And if you are in the market for any of these products here shared, uh, please feel free to check out Righty to see if you can get the best of the best deals going on. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope you all have a great, wonderful day and I will certainly catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching now. Take care. Bye. Bye, Righty. I'll see you later.